2013, four weeks out and nine weeks out from my competitions and two days out from going to the UK. I'm going to the gym in Sacramento. I invited whoever the hell wants to come, uh, like a 10 minute, you know, warning. So I have no idea who's gonna be there other than Brandon, Andrea, and uh, yeah. So us three, we're working out here because we need bigger dumbbells. Uh, so today is my push day and I'm doing dumbbell presses. My home gym only has up to 100, so that's why we're going to this gym. <clears throat> and I think some guys from uh, my area where I live uh, wanted to come. They were e emailing me back and forth, and I told them, you know, you can come through if you like. So they might be meeting us here, and uh, I also gave an open kind of invitation on my Facebook page to whoever wants to come. So maybe one or two other people might end up showing up as well. Let's see how it goes. Push day, let's get some good footage. Um, really excited, but I got a lot of shit I gotta do today. I gotta pack all of my shit still. I have to have it packed by tomorrow night because I'm going to Lovato's tomorrow night since we're leaving Wednesday morning. Today's Monday, so gotta get all my shit together, boys. All my shit. A lot, like two weeks worth of uh, clothes and stuff I gotta pack. Um, pack all my supplements, toiletries, Gymshark gear, all that stuff. By the way, I'm, getting, I'm doing some teeth whitening shit. What do you guys think? Um, yeah. Alright, see you guys. Here at the gym, drinking my pre-workout shake. So I'm here at the gym and I'm meeting up, or I met up with three youngsters over there. 17 year olds, you know, LOAers and fucking just enlightened motherfuckers. 17 years old and these kids are, you know, doing really, really simple, basic programs, workout programs. Not to mention they're doing mobility work. They're flossing. They're flossing at the age of 17. I didn't floss my joints until I was 21. So they're already utilizing, you know, some, some really, really amazing things. It's fucking incredible. Like this kid's baseball player, his shoulder was all fucked up. Saw some videos about flossing. Floss his shoulder. Shoulder's fine. I'm telling you guys, mobility is seriously such an underrated part of this whole thing. It's one of the reasons why I've maintained so much strength and motherfuckers are accusing me of steroids and shit. I just spend 10 times more time than you doing mobility work. But anyways, back to these guys. These guys are 17 years old. They look like I did when I was 18 and 19. So they're freaking ahead of the game. Shout out to you guys, jeez. Here with the young bucks. What's up dude? You guys are on the channel now. You guys are fishing on the channel. Awakening aesthetics. Oh yeah, we have a YouTube, channel, channer, YouTube yeah. channel, Awakening Just Aesthetics. Started, yeah. We have a whole oh 60 God. subscribers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of subscribers. Yeah, yeah <laughs> fucking bowling. Good shit, good uh, shit. What? My friend just texted me from Tennessee. He texted me the tweet of your tweet. Oh yeah. Like, hey, come to the gym. Uh -huh. Or go to the gym, Matt, because it's about to be there in Sacramento. I was like, dude, I'm already there. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel too? No, I don't. Oh, just okay. those two. Just yeah. these. Yeah. Alright, cool. cool. Awakening Aesthetics. Awakening, awakening aesthetics. Yes. Aesthetics. Aesthetics. No. Aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> These kids hitting good form and shit. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we got awakening, awakening aesthetics over here. About to awakening aesthetics. About to dip 90 pounds for at least 30 reps. At least 35. <laughs> Get it. Like close, 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 close. Get close, 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 close. Get the nipple, hold on. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, I still got it though, thanks. Steel nuts right here. That was a test of your true strength. Thank you. Here I'm doing my uh, dumbbell press based push day. And for this, I pretty much have been keeping my rep range for the dumbbell press around eight reps as of now because uh, as you know I like to alternate back and forth between lower and higher such as four to six rep sets on the lower rep weeks for the dumbbell press and then I do eight to twelve on the higher rep ones but I've found that um, doing those lower rep sets of four or five they are it, it just ain't happening and I don't want to risk injuring myself no longer with 
uh, four or five rep sets on a flat dumbbell press. So I'm sticking mostly to sets of six plus at least. Um, and so that means I basically just have one rep range that I'm really going for on the flat dumbbell press, unless it's a deload. And I'll be doing usually sets of eight. So that's one uh, current thing going on. And this is Brian hitting 80 pound dumbbell presses at 17 years old. Fucking Myron. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. My line bro from Expo uh, called me up saying he was talking to a friend of his. And uh, I haven't talked to my line bro Jason in a long ass time. But he called me just now and said he was talking to a friend of his. An old acquaintance that he used to know. But they were catching up and uh, suddenly uh, they were talking. Or my friend Jason was talking about me. He's like, yeah, my line, one of my line bros is a bodybuilder. He showed his friend a picture of me. And uh, his friend goes, what the fuck? You don't matter, Hocus? And then he's like, yeah, that's my pledge, bro. Why? <laughs> and then his friend was like, nigga, he famous. Some shit like that. And uh, no offense to any of my black friends out there. But <laughs> that's what he said. So uh, that was pretty funny. I just got off the phone with him. Man, I miss my, I miss my fucking bros from college. I miss them. I'm in a fraternity for those who don't know. But um, yeah, that's that. Uh... Drop the weight down. I was doing those 120s. Here I am probably doing 110. Yeah, it looks like 110s here. And I uh, mean my shitty ass back. Hey, one day that back will be nice and big. But back to what I was saying. You saw me right here not kicking up the weights, but instead letting them kind of fall into place. But actually keeping the top of the dumbbell against my chest so it's nice and stable. And allowing me to keep my shoulders down and back even before I get into place. That way... I'm in a very strong pressing position, a healthy one. All right, 166, 167 pounds, 185 overhead press. Let's do it. Are you active? Uh, this right over here. All right. OHP, 185. It's been a while. It's been a real long while. Yeah. But I just feel like going heavy today. See what happens. How many do you think? Three to five. What do you normally? Hey Omar. You How much you weigh, Omar? Six. Pound for pound, my overhead press is pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, here I'm weighing 167 pounds, and it's my second exercise of the day, going for a 185 pound press. And uh, considering those two factors, um, it's a pretty decent press for this many reps. Um, if anyone knows of any overhead pressing competitions or anything, let me know. If they're worth it, maybe I'll do it. But, uh, I guess it's more of like a self-knowing thing. Like, I know that I'm pretty strong at this, and I don't really have to kind of prove it to anyone else. Um, though, competition is, is always fun. It's always a cool thing to press yourself, um, towards something that is, uh, kind of outside of yourself in a way. And if there's any overhead press competitions, just let me know. Maybe I can go in and destroy. But uh, they used to have that. It used to be somewhat big, but it became so. Uh, the judging was so ambiguous for overhead pressing. I think it was a part of Olympic lifting at one point. Am I correct, guys? But uh, since there are varying levels of lean back that you can do on this exercise, uh, it was banished from the sport, I believe. And uh, for good reason, because, well, one person could lean back super duper far, another person may not. And um, the judging criteria for it's a little, a little bit odd. And uh, it's hard to tell if someone's legs are, you know, completely straight and so on. It's hard to tell if their knees are locked out or not, or if their glutes are locked out or not. So. I can understand why it's not a official lift of Olympic lifting or even, or even you know, power lifting. Here's a machine that I like even more than doing body weight dips or uh, free dips on the bars, the parallel bars. This is basically a machine dip, uh, plate loaded, um, working off of an axle. I really, really, really like this machine. Um, the motion it feels so good it feels healthy on my shoulders and if i had one of these i'd be using this shit all the time all the time baby i don't go away or anything nah. you don't do go away nah.
Another day, Chipotle. Another day. May 13th. One more burrito in the books. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Ready? This is my YouTube channel. Alright, this is Brian and David from Awakening Aesthetics. We're giving ourselves a little shout out here. Check out our channel. Seven, good shit. 17 year old natural bodybuilders, up and coming. Oh, Natty. Not Natty, please. No, we're natural. So, yeah. And our buddy John over here. Might as well get him. Good. Aesthetic genetics in peace. He's pretty fucking aesthetic, I yeah, must admit. Damn! Yeah, you see that? I saw it. Yeah, we're just fucking poverty over here. <laughs> Alright. Good times, guys. Alrighty, so we're done hanging out, done uh, chipotleing it up. The the workout was, was excellent, it was awesome. And um, we had a good time and talked with these guys, Brian, uh, John and David, they came out, they live in the Carmichael area, but they came out just to work out with me for today. And um, it's pretty fucking amazing, guys. Like, really inspirational and motivational just to me that, uh, you know, here we have three 17 year olds and they're training with the level of just optimalness, if that's even a word. Just the level of optimality, optimalness of like most people after they've been training for years and years and years you know I have these guys these kids are doing mobility work they're 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 having awesome form they they know about nutrition they know the truth and it's fucking it like makes me feel good inside um, that that you know I was able to have some sort of positive influence on these kids and uh, you know they're gonna go on and get older and they're gonna pass on this information to other people and help other people out and it's a chain reaction um, but it's crazy because you know I, I see it online a lot you know people tell me stories um, how they've progressed or how say counting macros has changed the way they view nutrition or you know how say a video of mine helped open their eyes to how to properly do this or that but it's like I saw it in person today and it was like I couldn't believe it, it was like whoa like, these kids are fucking amazing you know like they're they're all they're three 17 year olds and they knew more than I did um, and they're, they're training more optimally than how I trained from age 15 to 20 you know spent five years Training like a dumbass, practically like a dumbass. Some years were okay. And, and here we have 17 year olds who, at the young age, are just kicking ass. You know, they're putting a ton of work in, but not just that, you know, anyone could put work into the gym, anyone, but combine it with just intelligence, you know, just some logic, knowing the truth of nutrition, knowing how to properly execute the main. You know, muscle building and the best exercises and solid workout programs, periodization, understanding, progressive overload. These guys are ahead of the game. It's fucking amazing. Fuck. Like I was just blown away. I'm seeing I'm seeing one kid do perfect squats. Seeing another guy have perfect bench form. You know, at their age, you you expect kids to like have shitty ass form on everything. And uh, to not do any flexibility work, any mobility work, or anything. I've seen these guys do doing band work, you know, rolling on peanuts, fucking perfect bench press form. And I'm just like, mind blown. It's crazy. I couldn't believe this shit. So, um, yeah. I just want everyone to know that I see it. You know, I see you. I see you guys putting in the hard work and uh, making all these gains. I see you guys training smart. You know, I see you guys counting your macros and it, it really, really, really makes me feel good, okay? It makes me feel like I'm doing something positive. It makes me feel like, oh wow, what I'm doing is worth it. Um, so I just want you guys to know that, okay? You three fellas plus everyone else who's watching, I see you guys, you know? And I, I applaud all of you guys for, for taking the time to, to learn this shit. Because I know it doesn't come free. I know that you could be playing Xbox. I know that you could be smashing bitches left and right. You, you guys are putting in the time, the effort, the energy required to learn. To learn the truth. And I see it. I see you guys. And I appreciate it. Because together, 
it sounds cliche, but together, you know, it's a chain reaction. As soon as you learn what's true, you pass it on to someone else, and it keeps going and going and going. They keep on spreading it, and the next thing you know, your whole community understands how to how to be healthy, how to be fit, how to work out, what matters, what doesn't matter. You know, not sweating the small stuff, focusing on the big things. So, fuck, it's sick. It's sickening, it's awesome. Fuck yeah. Let's just mess the heck's. Monday, May the 13th, watching Game of Thrones, eating Chipotle burrito number two for the day, seriously. Cardio time, guys. This time, not at midnight, but at 11. So, going to the Sunrise CalFit gym. Gotta get my cardio in. And I gotta get the session in tomorrow so that I don't have to worry about any of my low intensity sessions for the rest of the week for when I go down to the UK. But um, we'll see how things go. I guess since I'm down there, I might have to skip a few days of uh, the gym here and there. Um, unless, you know, I'm able to hit it at night after the expo and that sort of thing. So, you know, once in a lifetime kind of experience, so I'm willing to, you know, uh, sacrifice uh, for the greater good, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I am so stoked. Like, tomorrow night is really when the adventure begins. That's when I head down to Lovato's, uh, spend the night, and we leave Wednesday morning uh, around noon. Short amount of footage from this workout. Um, I was kind of in a rush. But here's me doing my pen lay rows, like I normally do. Um, knowing how excited I'm uh, to go to the UK, I'm just like, ugh, get this workout done. Because I can't wait to uh, see what awaits me over there in a different country on the other side of the planet. I've never been there before, so. Um, skipped filming on a few other exercises. Here's me doing my uh, bicep curls, looking decently full, I must say. Even though I've been dieting for, whatever, 30, whatever weeks. Um, one cool thing is, when the lighting is right, when I got that half natty lighting, um, the half natty coloring, I definitely uh, look bigger and better than I really am. I'm a piece of shit. But when I find good lighting like this, I use it. And uh, I will let you guys know that uh, I'm good at finding good lighting. There we go, last workout uh, before the UK in the books. Right now I'm headed to Chipotle, get my freaking meal in. Head home, uh, pack a little bit of stuff, answer emails, um, and then I'm gonna get a, a spray tan, like a mystic kind of spray tan real quick. Gotta do that before I go to the UK. Uh, since I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the UK, we'll see. But uh, get my spray tan, and uh, dude, ah, there's so many little things, there's so many little things that, uh, that are on my plate. It's always those little things that add up, you know? The big things are covered, but these little things, there's just so many little things. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Oh shit, is that a BRZ over there? The, uh, or the Scion FRS, you guys know what that is? The Scion FRS, same thing as the uh, Subaru BRZ, basically the same car. But, um, yeah, that's, that was a car that I was looking at. Wow. Not that bad. I like it kind of. It's kind of like my current car, to be honest, but I like that one a little bit better. But yeah, shit, tomorrow we're getting on that plane. I'll be on a plane right now, uh, 24 hours from now. Can't freaking believe it. It's fucking crazy. You know, I was hoping that I was going to have Matt Versus videos lined up so that every day that I'm in the UK, you know, a new video would come up for you guys, but, dude, that didn't happen, and I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Um... We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Um, a lot of people wanted merchandise, LOA merchandise, for me to bring to. Uh, what the fuck is that? A lot of people wanted merchandise. I it had a Toyota sign on it, not a Scion. So that kind of confused me. Wow, that's weird. Um, yeah, a lot of people wanted LOA gear in the UK, um, and uh, you know, it's kind of one of those tricky decisions because then I have to deal with. Uh, Currency conversion, um, dealing with cash money over there, and really, you know, I'm trying to have a really good time, not be kind of 
dealing with monies as I'm doing things since you know it's not our own booth we're handling a booth for someone else so we're already dealing with stuff like that but we'll see I'll probably bring some stuff at least and chances are you guys already hung out with us and we already had a good time in the UK by the time you're watching this so hey and I my teeth are kind of white right now wow not bad uh, I got this teeth whitening shit the same one that Aziz used um, I've been using that. I use it twice. I'm gonna use it once again today before I head over to Lovato's. Oh yeah. Clock's ticking guys. Clock is ticking. It's, it's stressful. It is. But um at the same time, like today I every day I get some sort of new feeling of, of just positivity and today uh, I'm anxious. I'm, I'm anxious now. Yesterday and earlier today my parents were like, are you anxious? Are you excited? I was just like, yeah. But I got so much shit to do. Now I'm, I'm, it's starting to catch up to me because yeah, I'm seriously going to be on a plane 24 hours from now. And uh, I'm excited as fuck. May 14th, guys. Day before the UK. Eating a Chipotle burrito. Watching Game of Thrones.